accomplished. We had the opportunity to talk to some fans. In the middle of it all, let's hear what they had to say. Especially this game. They've just, they've just done the best they can. I think they were tired. I think they had some hard games coming into this. They're not the team of last year, but uh, win or lose, they've had an awesome season, and I'm pleased with uh, with the overall outcome. Well, as you know, it was a scoreless game for a long time, and it made for an intense game. I'm Chris right now. Did you finish? We're going to play all the night. Eddie Balfour, all the way. He's the man. I'm going to go. We're taking it in seven. Did you ever feel like that this was going to be the last night for the Stars? No, I had no, no doubt that the Stars are taking in seven. The Cubs stayed in Dallas. I think they've made their their point quite well. And like I said, we're at the Granada where movies usually play. But tonight history was made. And it was an incredible game. Macy Jepson reporting. Back to you. Yes, Macy, I would say we made some history tonight. Thanks a lot. Uh, tonight, DISD Superintendent Bill Rojas has been the topic of a private meeting between board members. Behind closed doors, they conducted very critical appraisal of his first year in office, as well as a discussion about his future. Channel 8's Brett Ship reports from DISD headquarters. The ISD Superintendent Bill Rojas said on Wednesday he believed he had the support of all nine members on the board. Tonight, we understand he heard the other side of the story. Months of concerns about Rojas' spending habits, his hiring habits, and his whereabouts have culminated in a five-hour closed-door meeting with trustees. Numerous sources are telling us that Rojas' job is hanging in the balance. The board was in closed session, as I said, for more than five hours. No one knows for sure, but one of the key topics expected to have come up was Rojas' poor relationship with the board. What began as a much-publicized tin can news conference where Rojas poked fun at two board members has mushroomed into a series of first-year conflicts with trustees. Tonight, after the meeting ended, board member Hollis Brashear was vague about what happens now. We made an assessment, I should say, of his performance. And uh, we're, not, we're not through with that. We still have some further discussions. What does that mean? Where would that take place? Uh, well, I can't tell you that. Do you want him to remain here as superintendent? Uh, do I want him to remain here as superintendent? It's not what I want. It's what the board wants. Yet another shakeup tonight in the Rojas administration. Rosita Apodaca, a deputy superintendent, Rojas's number two in command, has been placed on administrative leave today. She tells News 8 she was not told why, and district officials are not commenting. She is the third top DISD official to leave the district in the past month, the second in the past two days. Clearly, this is an administration in crisis with no relief inside. Brett Ship, Channel 8 News. Well, the Texas prison system could be approaching a population crisis. It is estimated that the state needs to add 15,000 more prison beds within the next five years to prevent an overcrowding problem. One solution would be to build more prisons. A state agency today in Austin recommended several other less expensive options, including new probation programs and a plan to reduce time served by nonviolent offenders. Governor George Bush is on the campaign trail tonight. He is attending several fundraisers in Philadelphia after spending most of the day in enemy territory, so to speak. Bush campaigned for votes in the state of Tennessee, the home state of his Democratic rival, Al Gore. Bush took the opportunity to point out what is lacking in Washington right now, as well as attack what he calls Gore's less aggressive campaign style. The Texas Democrats are partying tonight in Fort Worth on the eve of their state convention. Democrats hope to regain some lost ground in Texas politics as they focus primarily on the home front. Channel 8's Doug Fox reports. How are you? Good. Energy Secretary Bill Richardson is a former congressman and former U.N. ambassador who is on almost everyone's short list as a vice presidential running mate for Al Gore. If he is picked, he would be the first Hispanic ever nominated for one of the nation's highest offices. So, would he take the job if Gore offered it? I'm going to work very hard for him, but I don't want to get in trouble, so I'm going to duck your question. <laughs> but when he rises to speak, he certainly sounds like a running mate. I can tell you one thing. The next president of the United States is going to be Al Gore. That's about as close as Texas Democrats will come to hearing from the party elite. 
The president won't be here, neither will Al Gore. This is, after all, George Bush's home state, and Texas Democrats are hurting. They don't hold any statewide offices, didn't even field candidates for three statewide races this year, and their U.S. Senate candidate, Gene Kelly, also is missing. As I said the other day, if he, if he shows up tomorrow, we'll be glad to let him stay. Clearly, the Democratic Party you see today, with not a single statewide elected official, is a far cry from its powerhouse status of the past. Uh, but we're out there, we're working in the trenches, and we're not giving up, and we'll never give up. Party officials privately concede Texas is Bush country. They know it, Gore knows it, and so do these delegates. They just want to maintain the state house and recapture the state senate. That is the focus of this convention and a realistic goal for the campaign that lies ahead. Doug Fox, Channel 8 News, Fort Worth. Mexican-American Democrats caucus tomorrow morning in Fort Worth. They're expected to approve a resolution calling for Bill Richardson to be nominated vice president. More drugs and less sex. Still to come, what a new government report says about America's teenagers and risky behavior. Plus, what brought Microsoft chairman Bill Gates close to tears one day after a judge ordered his company to split up? It wasn't the emotion of the moment that reduced brides to tears. It was the shortage of tents for their receptions. As Toyota dealers everywhere corner the market on tents and savings. With hot deals like 1,000 cash back on 2,000 Corollas, 750 customer cash back on 2,000 Camrys, or low financing, plus 10 event deals on every new Toyota in stock. Don't miss the biggest reception you'll ever attend. Do you take this Camry? We do. What possible difference can I make? Rolling Stone calls Gladiator glorious. The first epic blast of the new century. And Newsweek declares Gladiator is mesmerizing and spectacular. Gladiator, rated R, now playing everywhere. Oh, we are the pool party people here on the block. Round up the neighbors and everybody comes over. And we probably had 12 or 15 kids in the pool. As much use as the pool gets, the quality of the water is the most important thing. We really need to have affordable and reliable chemicals here. With socket, the pace and the HTH as good as they are, it's really very easy to maintain your own pool. But Walmart has a great selection of pool chemicals, so it's really a case where I do save a lot of money. The people at Walmart do know their stuff. They come home after a hard day at work, there's nothing more refreshing than just cooling off. <laughs> Meet Boone Tidwell, bounty hunter. Knows crime doesn't pay. No Chevy S10 with the survival pack does. Equipped with air, automatic, CD player, and aluminum wheels, it's what we call one cool way to escape. With what Boone calls his best catch yet. Chevy S10, like a rock. Grab this smart buy offer on a 2000 Chevy S10 two-wheel drive regular cab with survival pack. Residency restrictions apply. Call for details. Experts say that as many as one in five children encounters sexual advances while they're surfing the Internet. The National Center for Missing and Exploited Children says that children often end up at pornographic websites by mistake after making a typographic error. They say that only a small fraction of the children who receive unwanted sexual advances online report the incidents to police. Experts recommend that parents surf the net with their children and use web filtering devices. Well, teenagers have apparently received the message about the dangers of sex, but not of drugs. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention says that fewer teenagers are having sex, and those who do are more likely to use a condom. Researchers also say that cocaine, marijuana, and cigarette use among high school students, though, increased during the 1990s. With summer approaching, many more children will be outdoors on area lakes and in backyard pools. That's one of the reasons we held the Family First Town Meeting on Health and Safety tonight. We got some very good and, and very important information from how, on how to relieve stress to how to keep kids safe in backyard pools. There have been, in fact, 18 drownings in North Texas in 18 days. So we have the American Red Cross talking to people about how to prevent drownings. They say the best advice is never leave children alone while they're swimming. There was a health and safety fair where people got free health screenings and information on CPR, on fire prevention, and crime prevention. And after the health fair, we had a town hall meeting where people got the chance to ask questions about safety. And again, some of the main concerns were about water safety and the importance of keeping children safe while parents are driving. 
never take a hand-me-down car seat. You don't know where that car seat has been, and you don't know if that car seat has been in a crash. If your car seat has been in a crash, destroy it. Bring it to us. We'll, we'll have a big stomping party on it. Probably the most important thing is an adequate fence, at least four feet tall, with no opening more than about four inches. Small infants, toddlers, three seconds, they're underwater. That's it. Uh, by the way, on June 15th, Children's Medical Center of Dallas will be out here doing, rather, out doing car safety seat checks because 98% of car seats are improperly installed and parents need to have them checked out. Citing health risks to children, the government is banning a popular pesticide from use in gardens and homes. We may know it as Durisban or Lorisban. The EPA says it poses a risk to children because of its potential effects on the nervous system. Durisban and Lorisban will disappear from store shelves by the end of the year. Well, uh, it's going to be, I guess we can call this a morning cast. <laughs> well, fortunately, the only uh, depression now is tropical. Every that's other right. Game, so am I happy we won tonight? <laughs> People are always sending me stuff to hold up, and I never do it. But this one seems appropriate. Actually, it celebrates the 100th anniversary of modern orthodontics. But it pretty well says the way we feel at this point, right? We'll have some weather for you in just a moment. <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot. It, yeah, is it early pays to that. stay up late, you know. Yeah, yeah, that's right. You wouldn't see this at 10, I don't think. One, one of the top stars in any James Bond movie is 007's car. When we come back, the Bond mobile is the hottest thing on wheels at a Chinese automobile show. It's Ferraris that catch the eye of car thieves. Nicholas Cage and Angelina Jolie. Still ahead, Gary Kogel tells us if Gone in 60 Seconds is a Top Gear thriller or a clunker. America has had furniture stores forever, and yet amazingly, a new furniture company comes along and blows the others away. Why? Because we give you what you want. Fashion, style, selection, quality, unbeatable prices. No fake sales, no phony discounts, and no broken promises. Just the lowest prices every day on every item. That's why people are talking about rooms to go, why people are shopping rooms to go. Kind of makes you wonder how you ever got along without us. Dodge dip 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 different. Big savings, just about. Big savings, almost everything. everything. Not, not, not in a perfect world. Cash allowance, up to two thousand. Magnum power, up to two thousand. Ca ca caravan, a thousand cash allowance, almost every car, almost every everything. everything. Not, not in a perfect world. Limited time. Dodge savings, don't wait. Dodge different. Dodge different. Dodge different. My romance doesn't have to have a moon in the sky. My romance doesn't need one thing but you. Ralph Lauren Romance Men. This 5750 Father's Day set, a $70 value, is now available at Foley's. Near Hempstead, it's plump, fresh watermelons. In Pecos, cantaloupes as sweet as honey. From South Texas, the juiciest grapefruit ever. Wherever the search takes us, Tom Thumb finds the freshest produce picked at its peak and rushes it to your neighborhood Tom Thumb store. So if you can't travel to the San Joaquin Valley for the best peaches, come to Tom Thumb. When it comes to great produce, Tom Thumb really is your remarkable store. This week, pick up Sanderson Farms boneless, skinless chicken breasts for only $1.99 a pound. Here are tonight's winning Texas lottery numbers.
Saw some showers on the radar moving up toward us during the afternoon and evening. Dr. Stuart Chilton out in Stephenville had 27 hundredths of an inch, but he's the lucky one. Nobody else had a quarter inch or more. However, we have stayed with you so long tonight that these showers are kind of closing in on at least part of the Fort Worth area. There's still some showers from Weatherford uh, over toward Annetta, and then moving in on Saginaw. These are moving up toward the north. Most of us will stay dry and partly cloudy overnight, but there are those few that are getting wet. No storms here, just some showers. Overnight forecast for you then looks like this. These showers are likely to uh, dissipate by morning, but more will be forming, 70 in the morning. And then uh, during the day tomorrow, I think we have a pretty good chance for a few thunderstorms in the afternoon. 78 uh, will be the temperature at noon and about 86 tomorrow afternoon. It is uh, cloudy as of the past hour here at midnight, 79 degrees, 71% uh, humidity. And the barometer is steady. Wind is southeast at 9, no precip today. Here's what we've been looking at during the day today, this tropical depression in the Gulf. It looked like it was going to become Tropical Storm Alberto. Then it weakened dramatically this afternoon. Uh, there will be no more advisories until perhaps tomorrow when an aircraft goes out to investigate. If it intensifies, we'll pick up the information again. But at this point, uh, Alberto seems to be on hold. There's no storm there yet, just a weak depression. Let's come on back home tonight. We'll Look at what's been going on here. We have had clouds and showers moving up toward us during the day. Just a lot of Gulf moisture here. And whether this storm, whether it becomes a storm or not, I think it will enhance our chances for showers over the weekend just because it'll be throwing some moisture toward us. 79 here at this past hour. Those are the temperatures. Let's look at the closer to home temps this evening. And everybody's in the 70s at midnight. Still a warm night out there after a fairly mild day. Temperature hasn't dropped a whole lot since then. 63 was the morning low, 88 the afternoon high, a little bit below normal in both cases. The air quality was moderate in uh, Dallas, uh, and well, it was moderate in Fort Worth, good in Dallas, but at some points it was moderate in both days. There was an air uh, pollution alert today, but not for tomorrow, more wind tomorrow. The pollen is 1171 grains per cubic meter of air, mostly fungus and a little bit of grass. Satellite pictures for the U.S. tonight. You can kind of pick the way the clouds are moving up and then moving back down. That's what the jet stream is doing, moving everything around us as far as any significant storminess. So we'll be counting on some moisture being thrown off the gulf on the top of that little depression circulation if we get any rain, which I think we probably will. Thunder thundershower to tomorrow, then chances increasing on Saturday and Sunday. Temperatures at midnight look like this. It's pretty warm, even it's 84 in Minneapolis-St. Paul at this late hour. Here's the computer animation of the forecast for the next couple of days. These are what the computer models show. You notice they're not showing any organization in the gulf with that system, so whether or not that becomes a storm still, I think we'll see by Saturday. Uh, we will be seeing some showers around these parts. So here's your five-day outlook. Overnight tonight, some showers west of Dallas, Fort Worth, partly cloudy for most of us, about 70. Uh, kind of cloudy with a few thunderstorms tomorrow, 86, low 72 for Saturday and Sunday. Both those days mostly cloudy, breezy, southeast 10 to 20, and a pretty good chance for thunderstorms for most of us on both those days. A few storms on Monday and then partly sunny on Tuesday and back up to 93 degrees. Okay. Well, that's the weather for tonight and tomorrow, and I'll see you later today. <laughs> All right. Thanks yeah. a lot. Something okay. like that, yeah. You know, you wouldn't think that billionaires had much to cry about, but Bill Gates fought back a few tears today, at the, or rather yesterday, at the first awards ceremony for his scholarship program. Reading the kids last night at dinner, uh, hearing about their dreams, it's a, it's a very... The Microsoft co-founder, along with his wife, are committing $50 million in financial aid to minority students over the next 20 years. Well, James Bond is still drawing a crowd, and his car is too, even in Beijing, China. Thousands of people flocked into the exhibition hall at China's International Auto Show today, or yesterday, to see the latest Bond car. Automakers are giving the Chinese people plenty of other cars to look at as well, although a few of the people there can afford, even the Volkswagen Beetle, automakers know that uh, that could change as China enters the World Trade Organization and slashes the high taxes on imported cars. We're still trying to recover from the best Man. hockey. You know, I'm not even a hockey fan. That was the best hockey I think I've seen, and I don't know how long. It was Great. amazing. I can't wait till Saturday night. Kind of like deja vu all over again. It is, game, game six <laughs> was our game in Buffalo last year. Right. And that's when the stars skate their best. They know wow. how to close the door, and they did. But, uh, yeah, they do survive. And we are going to have a game six back here in Dallas. We'll tell you more about that. Take you back up to New Jersey when we come back. Stay with us. The best way to jumpstart your day is Good Morning Texas. Hey, rookie dads, are you in a panic? Not sure if you could handle your new role? Don't worry, help's on the way. And get more bang for your buck. It's out to the stores for some of the best bargains in town. Plus, lions, tigers, and bears, oh my, wild animals take over the GMT studio. That's Good Morning Texas, tomorrow at 9, right here on Channel 8, the spirit of Texas. A little this, a little that. 
<laughs> what are you doing exactly? You know, this stuff goes great together. You know, we make those. It's called a sonic blast. Oh. Excuse me? Dive into a new sonic blast. The only one blended smooth with real Reese's peanut butter cups. Or try Oreos, M&M's, or Butterfingers. They taste as good as they look. You can even sprinkle them on a sundae for a cool new twist. But only at Sonic, your summer flavor play. How many cars? Fifty. How many days? One. Tomorrow. Good man. Let's go, let's go. From producer Jerry Bruckheimer, Nicholas Cage. Gone in 60 seconds. Directed by Dominic Senna, pretty PG-13. The 2000 Ford Excursion. Well, I'm a long, tall Texan. It's long enough to haul a lot of cargo efficiently, tall enough to carry a lot of people comfortably, and Texan enough to tow a lot of weight easily. Yes, I'm The long, tall, Texan-inspired Ford Excursion. Now available with low zero nine financing. Stop by Ford Outfitters at your Texas Ford dealer today. It's summertime. Don't get stuck hibernating indoors in the air conditioning until October. Dive into hot fun in the summer sun on Channel 8. Let Six Flags, Morgan Building Spas, Pools and RVs, Jackson's Pottery, Las Vegas Golf and Tennis, The Slalom Shop, The Fort Worth Zoo, and Adventure Tours lure you into a good time. Check out this summer's hot spots and cool deals Saturday evening, June 10th at 10.30 or Sunday the 11th at 5 p.m. Only on Channel 8. Live captioning of News 8 is sponsored by Baylor Healthcare System. Baylor recommends keeping your skin safe in the summer sun. For skin screenings or physician referral, call 1-800-4-BAYLOR. All of us have access to endless sources of information. So as news providers, we have to offer more. We have to offer a source of perspective, but a source you can trust. There's this history of great journalism and good judgment here. And what we try to do is build on that heritage, story by story, day by day. In the end, the station that wins your loyalty is the station that keeps earning your respect. And that's the kind of station we will always be. Well, it was more like what we thought earlier in the day, a nail-biter. No matter who you were cheering for, just what you're looking for in an elimination game. Star's the one facing elimination, but remember what Yogi says. It ain't over till it's over. No room for mistakes, and the Stars almost committed one in that first period. Richard Matvichuk, Richard Matvichuk's skate, the Stars got lucky with that one. Lots of defense in this one. How about the Devils, Martin Brodeur, facing tons of shots there in the second period, gets a couple of great saves right there in the second. Mono e mano among those goalies, too, between Brodeur and Eddie Belfort. The Eagle with the stopper in the third. I'm not even believing this thing. This guy does have a slinky for a spine. Look at this thing one more time from behind the net. Just an absolute beautiful save. 50 saves between the two goalies before we go into overtime. Finally, in the third overtime, it took 106 minutes into the game, and we finally got our game-winning goal. In front, they score! Magano! We're going six, baby! We're going six! Ralph Grange is with the call. Yeah, we are going six. Mike Madonna redirects that shot from uh, Brett Hull. One to nothing stars win, and we do have a game six Saturday night. And uh, George Reba was ringside for this one and has more from New Jersey. George? It was an amazing game. It was one of those games that never seemed to end, I guess. If you added them up, it was a 90, 89th shot on goal that went in to give Dallas his win tonight. And incredible by performances, as you said, by both goaltenders tonight. Uh, Intensity really only got better as it got into overtime. Ed Bell for the 27 shots in regulation, 10 in the first overtime, 8 in the second, 48 by the end of the night. The Devils outshot Dallas in every period except the first and that second overtime, but Dallas seemed to get better as this game went on. Really too bad that someone had to lose this game tonight. Uh, Brett Hull in the first, uh, had a lot of many scoring chances, so did uh, uh, Jonathan Sim, the Dion Hatch, as you see there. It also uh, had goal written all over but never got in. Again, this game would become the longest scoreless game in uh, Stanley Cup Finals history, the fourth longest game over uh, overall in Stanley Cup Finals, and the game winner by Mike Madano, and the road team has won all five triple overtime games. Amazing, amazing, amazing to be here tonight for this game. <laughs> it is late. Joining us now, Ken Hitchcock. Thanks for joining us, first of all. Uh, your team played awfully well, didn't it? 
Yeah, I think we, uh, after, after the uh, third period kind of collapsed there in game four, George, we really felt like we, we owed it to, the, to our fans, we owed it to our families, and we owed it to the organization to put our best foot forward, and we did that tonight. And, you know, win, lose, or draw, when you see two teams go at it this hard and, and put so much into it, there, there really was no loser. We were able to, to bring this thing back to Dallas, and, and who knows where it goes. And I said this to people before, this is really familiar territory for us. We've, we've been here lots over the last three years. It's very familiar, and our players feel more comfortable as this thing's moving along. Talk about the goaltending at Belfort tonight. Uh, you could not have asked for more, could you? No, he, he, he was just unbelievable. But Cordero was unbelievable, too, you know. Uh, both guys uh, both guys just stared our shooters down and, and, their, and their shooters, and... Eddie, Eddie was outstanding uh, probably in the first half of the game, and then Bordeaux was great. And as the game got along, we just seemed to get stronger and stronger and stronger as it went on. And, uh, you know, I thought I thought in the uh, in the second overtime we had a number of quality chances, and then we had a few more in the third, so good sign. And, and why did your team get stronger? Because in the past it seemed they got stronger. Well, I think it just slowed down a little bit, and we've got a number of people who can really work in, in, in close spaces, and I think that... The, the other factor was the Medano Neuendijk line in that one-two punch was really determined today, and I was so proud of uh, not only my team but those two guys in particular. They carried a lot of the workload today and did a great job. Easy to recover from a game like this, you think? I don't think it's going to be easy to recover, but both teams are in the, you know, they're in the same boat. But um, you know, I, I think it, it it becomes now mind over physical side of things. I think everybody mentally is is just going to have to rev it up. Ken, thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Have a good trip back. What a great hockey game we saw here tonight. And, of course, we do have a game six in Dallas on Saturday night. Steve, back to you. All right, George. Uh, quarter to two there on the East Coast. Go get some sleep. You deserve it. Well, the Cowboys made it official with Randall Cunningham. He signs a three-year contract. He'll make a million in that first year with his signing bonus and base salary. Duncan Bill back in the state baseball tournament for the third year in a row. Facing the Woodlands, he was a big underdog in this one. Bottom of the first, Woodlands goes to work. Single to left, the fielder can't handle the ball. Three runs come around to score. They get four in the first. Panthers cut the lead 4-1 at the top of the second. J. Bob Thomas gets the RBI single, and that's just about all the Panthers got. In fact, that is it. Woodlands too much. Bottom of the sixth, bases loaded single. Makes it 11-1. to Duncan Bill gets the 10-run rule. In fact, none of our high school teams... Uh, made it on into uh, the state finals and uh yeah we got that special coming up saturday night so don't punch me no, out for no. that you know that you heard george's stat yeah i know <laughs> every time we have a special stars lose uh, saturday night 6 30. we'll see if we can talk to sales about that okay <laughs> new action-packed movie starring not one but three oscar winners opens this weekend up next gary cogill lets us know if gone in 60 seconds has what it takes to drive people to the box office Stay with us. I like to leave my problems at home when I drive. But if I can't leave them at home, I tell them they can come along. But only if they shut up and enjoy the ride. What is the jet stream and why is it important? Troy Dungan with a weather mind fact for you. The jet stream is a very strong current of air, usually 30,000 feet or more above the Earth's surface, concentrated in a narrow stream. Think of it as a large river of air, but its position varies from day to day and week to week. Important weather patterns like temperature and precipitation are driven by the jet stream. Weather mind brought to you by Stacy Furniture and only on Channel 8. This Family First tip is sponsored by Children's Medical Center of Dallas. Frustrated when your children make mistakes? Relax! It means they're trying. Be supportive, not critical. Encourage them to keep on going and find their own solution. We all learn best from our own mistakes. At Channel 8, we're putting family first in the spirit of Texas. Children's Medical Center of Dallas provides a full spectrum of pediatric medical services dedicated to making life better for children. 
It's summertime. Don't get stuck hibernating indoors in the air conditioning until October. Dive into hot fun in the summer sun on Channel 8. Let Six Flags, Morgan Building Spas, Pools and RVs, Jackson's Pottery, Las Vegas Golf and Tennis, The Slalom Shop, The Fort Worth Zoo, and Adventure Tours lure you into a good time. Check out this summer's hot spots and cool deals Saturday evening, June 10th at 1030 or Sunday the 11th at 5 p.m. only on Channel 8. The trucks are arriving now. June is truck month at your Nissan retailer, and that means we're unloading big summer deals on Nissan's most rugged vehicles. Now get 3.9% financing on all new Frontiers, like the Frontier Crew Cab, the first compact pickup in America with four real doors and a Consumer's Digest Best Buy. Plus get $2,100 in total savings on 2,000 Frontier King Cabs. So don't wait. The time to buy is now. On Nissan's full line of trucks, truck month ends June 30th. You know, one of my best perspectives on the news is being a mom, trying to raise two boys. Mom's time is so critical and precious. As Americans, we're all working longer and harder, so we have to make the news count. To do this, we have to go beyond the headlines, deeper into the issues that affect you and your family. We go where many stations never go. Because we do, we're giving you this closer connection to the community. And that makes all the difference in the world. Oscar winner Nicholas Cage stars in a new movie playing a world-class car thief trying to pull off one last heist. Channel 8's movie critic Gary Cogill has his review of Gone in 60 Seconds. Oh, you want to get crazy with me? Come on, boy. Gone in 60 Seconds is a happy car thief movie. Big, loud, dumb, and highly entertaining. Nicholas Cage plays a retired world-class car thief forced into one last boost when his brother is held for ransom. Cage has to steal 50 top-line cars in 24 hours just to save his brother's life. And he's assisted by fellow Oscar winners Robert Duvall and Angelina Jolie. What do you think is more exciting, having sex? Or stealing cars? Watching Gone in 60 Seconds is nothing more than a full-tank guilty pleasure. Everything about this movie is irresponsible, illegal, and dangerous. But it's also a big-budget popcorn movie about lug wrenches, macho men and women, and fast cars. This ain't the Dukes of Hazzard. Come on! Gone in 60 Seconds is the new millennium recreation of a low-budget 1974 cult classic. Both films suffer from endless cliches and insipid dialogue. But I must admit, this PG-13 film is fun to watch. Just leave your mind in the lobby, and if you drive a Mustang, don't leave your keys in the car. 140 miles an hour. Do not lose him. This is an A-star, sir, not an Apache. 150. 160. He's gone. Gary Cogill, Channel 8 News. Well, that should be gone. I'm pretty good, and we too will be gone in about six seconds. Well, right? actually, in about 20 seconds. Uh, your next news coming up in four hours on News 8 Daybreak. We invite you to join the morning crew for that. Good night. Good morning. Good morning. You've been watching the News 8 Update, the most-watched 10 o'clock newscast in Dallas-Fort Worth.